Welcome back, Air Gunners, and I am here today to talk about the BSA Ultra. Dude, you almost forgot the RAM. Make sure to tell them about the RAM. Don't forget about the RAM. Let's try that again. I'm here to talk about the BSA Ultra JSR, and that's the rifle that I have in front of me. This version is 12 foot-pounds. The one in the UK is six foot-pounds, and both are available here in the United States. Like I said, I chose the 12 foot pound rifle just for a little extra length of distance on the shots and to give it just a little bit more power than the six foot pound version. And both of these, like I said, are available from Air Guns of Arizona. This is an air gun that came out just over a year ago. And when it came out, obviously it was only available in Europe. And I was really excited about it. I've been trying to get my nine year old son interested in shooting with me without being pushy of course because it's not something i want to push on him but it's something that i hope in the future that he's going to enjoy coming out and doing with me for a lifetime of fun experiences so i wasn't quite ready to lay out the 699 dollars that this air rifle cost so uh, air guns of arizona was kind enough to loan me one in order to give it a shot and i will say before i go any further that i have sold myself on this air rifle and now my wallet is going to be 699 dollars lighter um, i also sold my son on it because the only rifle that we've had that we've had fun with that he's been able to shoot comfortably and why is that well it's because it's made for somebody of shorter stature whether that be uh, a woman kids grandkids whoever it may be this is meant for them and that's because the length of pull on this stock is adjusted exactly the way it needs to be so a normal or typical rifle is going to have that longer length of pull whereas this is now brought in and now you can see for an adult that it is actually too short but for a kid it is just right and i want to thank bsa for doing this and for helping me and hopefully you too introduce younger shooters to air guns with a nice high quality piece of equipment let's take a closer look at this piece of equipment first of all it comes with a nice beach stock has checkering on the foregrip as well as the grip it also has 11 millimeter dovetail and you notice on top of the dovetail i have short rings because i want to keep that scope height low and i also put a nice light scope on it to help keep the rifle light for my son this happens to be the mtc optics mambo ultralight scope which i did a review on several weeks back and if you didn't watch it you may want to take a look at this scope a little bit closer whether you're looking for a scope for a junior shooter to keep things light or if you want to keep things light out in the field as you're hunting so great option option for both. The other thing that BSA did, and I'm glad they did, is they added one half UNF threads to the end of this. This air gun does bark. And if you're using it with junior shooters, I want it to be as pleasant an experience as possible. So I went ahead and added the Donnie FL Tonto moderator. And when you add a moderator, obviously there are a lot of options, but the one thing you want to keep in mind is that the fill port right here is on the front of the tube. And you're going to have to be able to remove this cap in order to access that and you want to make sure that that moderator is not going to inhibit the ability for view to take that cap off so something to keep in mind if you're looking at this air gun also it comes with a 10 shot rotary magazine as well as the opportunity to buy aftermarket parts for it whether that be a huma regulator or also single shot adapters for this as well before I get any further in this, let's take a look at the trigger. The trigger is a two-stage trigger, and you want to make sure that, at least in my case, I felt like I needed to make sure that I had a nice first stage travel, so it's kind of an exaggerated, so the shooter can get used to that and knowing where that wall is before the trigger breaks, and then also make sure that break as a crisp trigger. And this is a very nice trigger that's kind of at the beginning level of a match grade trigger and this trigger out of the box broke at one pound four ounces which i was very pleased with and i knew that it was something that my son wouldn't have to struggle with as he tried to pull that trigger back yet it would be strong enough that he would know where that point was so kudos again to bsa for doing that and sending it at the box out of the factory that way and it's a similar result that i got when i tested the bsa ultra also which i'll be reviewing in an upcoming uh, video 
length, this thing comes in at 27 inches overall with the moderator, it does add some length, but again, we're not looking at the length here that's important, we're looking at the length of pull and the moderator does not adjust that or change that, so no worries there. I mentioned that moder or, uh, Huma regulator can be added for about 140 bucks. The most important thing when we talk about rifles is its accuracy and how accurate is it. So I did my testing at 50 yards. I feel like in today's day and age, 50 yards is a good benchmark distance, especially for a high quality air gun. And at 50 yards, I was super pleased. It was not overly pellet picky. And the JSB pellets that I used, wow. I was getting just over half an inch center to center groupings at 50 yards out of a 12 foot pound rifle shooting about 770 feet per second and a stock that didn't fit me. So guys, this thing is, it, it is what it is, it's awesome. And it, you can't go wrong with this, especially for a younger shooter. And not to mention that the stock can also be swapped out with a regular BSA Ultra. So as your son, daughter, or grandchild grows, the rifle can grow with them. So you get it twice the bang out of your buck. That's why it's important to buy quality. So. Shot count, well, let's take a quick look at the graph above and you're gonna see that shot count is just about 34 shots. It was pretty flat and consistent. Again, shooting about 770 feet per second, 10 to 11 foot pound range, coming again from the factory. We could flatten that out with a regulator. I don't necessarily think you need one, even if you're gonna compete. I might add one just for fun, just cause I like to tinker and mess around, but again, it's not a necessary thing for this rifle out of the box. Something to keep in mind too, the magazines are easily loadable, at least by my nine year old son. So I imagine most kids can handle that fairly well, but make sure you put a little dot on there, whether it be a white dot or some sort of color so this, your, your child knows which side is up and they put the pellets in the correct way each and every time. And I suggest three magazines. The magazines uh, are nice in the way that if you get three of them, that's 30 shots. And that's just about how many shots you're gonna get before you need to refill the rifle. So it was a nice reminder for my son and for me to be able to keep an eye, eye, eye on it and say, hey, don't forget, we need to refill after you take your 30 shots. Those three magazines, once they're done, we're gonna refill. We kind of get in a nice habit and pattern of doing that. So what is so much fun about shooting with kids is that you never really know what they're gonna do. And this Ram, as I mentioned earlier, is a perfect example of that. These Rams, we first started shooting, I started out at 25 yards, and I had these Rams that you can get from Pyramid Air and put them out there on a stringer at 25 yards. And my son knocked a couple over and we ran out to go pick them up. And he looked at the Ram and he kind of said, you know, Dad, what is this part hanging down from the belly of the ram? And I said, what do you think it is? And he said, is it uh, what I think it is, Dad? And he said, yeah, it is. And he got that kind of grin on his face that kids get. And he said, let's go back and shoot some more. And so I said, all right, let's go do that. And I was excited that he was excited and having fun. He sits down at the bench. Lo and behold, first shot. I was kind of impressed, first shot and uh, one of the rams goes flying. I was like, good shot, buddy, you know, let's, let's go. He said, no, dad, I don't want to shoot anymore. I want to go see where I hit the ram. Well, lo and behold, we get over there, we find the ram on the ground. Yeah, he shot the ram right in the d Not lying, first shot. And I said, well, buddy, I'm keeping that as my souvenir from this experience, and it's gonna help me remember how much fun we had the first time. But guys, shooting with kids is a lot of fun. Make sure it is safe. Make sure it's a memorable experience and one that they're going to want to repeat. If you need some tips on how to shoot and how to get kids started, make sure you go and watch my other video that I did earlier on that and I give you a couple of tips, a couple of hints to help make sure your experience and their experience is one that you're going to remember. So until next time, guys, make sure your pellets fly straight and your trigger pull stays smooth. And we're going to see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.